Hello friends, welcome back. And if you're new here, my name is Sana, Mrs. Perfectly Imperfect Keto, where being perfect is overrated and being imperfect is appreciated. Today is Thursday, February 23rd, and it is my day 54 of Triple B and E. Um, I am definitely getting excited because as I mentioned on my previous video, I just have until next week to go and then I can start to take steps of reintroduction. So it's definitely an exciting final stretch for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into my meals first. Uh, so what I had for brunch, I had my brunch around 1.30 uh, p.m. And what I had is what I've kind of been on a little kick with. I am just so crazy about air fried burgers because it is just so simple to do. And once you shape your burger patties or if you're using pre-packaged uh, store-bought burger patties, you're letting that air fryer do all the work for you. Um, so, I mean, who can say no to that, letting someone else take care of the cooking? So, for my brunch, I had three air fried burger patties, and I also had four of the pressure cooked uh, hard boiled eggs that I had mentioned the other day that I used my Ninja Foodie pot. And I just went ahead and uh, put butter all over, drizzled all over the burgers and of course just salted everything and that is what i had for my brunch so come my dinner i did have my dinner a little bit late um, but as i said that is fine by me i just want to get my protein in because that is the protocol that i'm following for triple b and e i'm making sure that i am getting myself accustomed to the amount of protein as well as fat that I should be consuming for the day. So for my dinner, I went in with another three air fried burger patties. I did use up the remaining um, to complete two pounds um, that was in the Ziploc baggie. Uh, so portioned it out between my brunch and then my dinner. And I just had the burgers on the side of some just melted butter. So I just melted uh, three tablespoons of butter um, and then salted the burgers. And that is what I went in for my dinner. So I've been loving the simplicity of doing triple B and E because, you know, there's no recipes to follow. Um, even, you know, the tracking of the protein and kind of making sure you're including fats into the meal, it really does not take any time at all compared to any tracking I've done throughout my keto journey. So it still makes things very simple, very stress-free, and very quick. So I did want to get into some discussion um, so just sharing some thoughts. So I have been seeing a lot of mentioning that some are getting discouraged. Um, and this is not just those that are doing triple B and E. I see this also for some that have started keto and some that are doing either carnivore or ketovore. I see a lot of comparison going on. Um, everyone is comparing their journey to someone else when that other individual should mention what their recent victory was. Um, so say, for example, you know, someone could be saying, oh, you know, I lost 100 pounds in six months. You all have to understand all of our bodies are so different. You know, not only are they different, but all of us do not start our journeys off at the same weight. A lot of times, if you are heavier in a weight, you will experience a big whoosh effect 
where a lot more weight is going to come off in the beginning. Everyone is going to be different. Do not put yourself through the stress of comparing yourself with anybody else's journey. Don't allow yourself to go through that because if you do, you're going to allow yourself to get too discouraged and you might have your mind play tricks on you that you're not doing the best that you can do, which you probably are. I also want you all to realize, think of the most precious stone in the world. So let's think of a diamond. If you see the natural form of a diamond when it is first found, it does not look like anything that you see in the jewelry stores. It is not perfectly cut. Um, You know, I know the uh, most popular cut of a diamond is a princess cut. You are not seeing no princess cut when you find it. It needs a lot of work, hands-on work done to it, to cut it, to polish it. But still yet, even once a diamond is cut and polished, they all might have the same chemical composition. Just like us humans, we all we all have blood running through our veins. We all bleed red. But guess what? Even though we might have similar chemical compositions, we are all different. Just like those diamonds, every single one of them is absolutely different. So I want you all to look at yourselves the same way. You are unique in your own right. So do not compare yourself with anyone else. You will get there in due time. And don't put that stress on yourself. Just make sure that whatever you're choosing to do, whether it be keto, whether it be carnivore or ketovore, make sure you are choosing what is best for you. Do not do any of those because you want to do what the rest of the crowd is doing. You have to choose what is sustainable for you and what truly you see as something that could be long life sustainable. Of course, we have the ability to change our path at any given time, but I just want you all to just choose what is best for you. Give yourself that self-love and that self-care and do what is best for you. Don't worry about everyone else. Take care of you. Well, that is it for me today, my friends, for day 54, and I will catch you all on day 55 for Friday tomorrow. Take care, my friends. Mm -hmm.